Welcome to the world of email authentication. In this video, we will take a closer look at the first player in the modern email authentication trio, Sender Policy Framework, that is SPF, which first appeared in the early 2000s, helps prevent unauthorized user from sending email on behalf of the domain. Get ready to learn how SPF works, allow the receive email servers to verify that email comes from IP address that is authorized by domain administrator, senders domain administrator. Let's get started. In today's digital age, email is a crucial part of our daily communication. But with the increasing number of cyber threats, it's become increasingly important to protect our inbox from malicious or unwanted emails. SPF is a mechanism that helps the servers verify that email is legitimate and coming from trusted source. Let me explain in it a simple term. When a domain is registered, an administrator specifies a list of the IP address that are authorized to send an email on behalf of our domain. Then this list uh, administrator publish in the domain SPF record in the DNS. Now, how exactly SPF record works? When any sender sends an email, then recipient exchange server verify the SPF record, whether that email generated from that IP address, whether it is authorized for that domain to send email out. Then if it is checked, then emails goes to the user's recipient's inbox. If that SPF record failed, then the, that email goes to the spam or the junk folder, or sometimes it's also rejected. This helps prevent email spoofing and protect the recipient from phishing and other malicious emails. You also check the email headers that whether that SPF record pass or not, or you also can see the DKIM or the DMARC value uh, that records are passed or not. Uh, that you can check from the email headers that I have shown in my last video, how to check headers and how you can use third party tool to analyze the email headers. So you can use that portal and check whether the SPF record is passed or not. And uh, if it is passed even from which IP address that email got sent. And if your organization using only Office 365 to send out all the emails and there is no third party service you are using uh, to send out email on behalf of your user or behalf of your um, domain, then uh, you can see that these kind of records you can mention. This is by default Microsoft publish. Uh, if it is uh, integrated with your uh, DNS provider. Otherwise, you need to manually push or publish this uh, SPF record uh, in your uh, DNS. In this example, I'll give you the better understanding how exactly SPF works. If, for example, you have a, uh, your exchange online that is IP address, for example, I'm just considering this 1.2.3.4 is the exchange online uh, IP address and there is a Salesforce uh, third party service or any accounting software you are using to send out email to the end user uh, just for uh, any uh, payroll activity or anything that you want to publish or you want to send a notification, you are using third party Salesforce.com Salesforce uh, uh, email to send out email on behalf of your domain so the end user will get the email and it will um, it will reach in their inbox but why because 4.3.4.3 sorry the 4.3.4.3 this ip is belongs to the salesforce and you added that same record in the your spf record the spf one ip address 4.3 3.4.3 so this ip address you already mentioned in your spf record so anytime when recipient checks recipient server will check okay i got an ip address that is 4.3.4.3 uh, which is belongs to the salesforce but it also authorized by easy for security.com dns right it that ip address is listed in that dns spf record so that email will go to the inbox of the recipient this is the typical syntax used to create a SPF record. So you can clearly see on the screen. And if you have only, uh, if, if you are only sending the email from Hopis 365, then there is a one way you can send uh, this. And if, if there is a, another service provider or another, if, you, if there are different service provider you are using to send out email on behalf of, behalf of your domain, then also you can use the multiple uh, IP address, uh, the, this, this format, and you can send out email and that email will go into the email 
uh, that that email will go to the recipient's inbox the conclusion of this video is spf is a simply an eight efficient way to ensure that emails are received are legitimate and coming from the trusted source and with the increasing number of cyber threats it is more important than ever to protect yourself and your inbox so please please protect yourself from unauthorized email and uh, please uh, if you like this video please uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you can see this or you can check for any other domain if there is spf how the spf records they have created you can simply use third party website like amxtoolbox.com and there you can check the spf record and yeah happy learning and thanks for watching this video bye